Hey, second half of lifers. I am down at my workshop and this is a place where uh, a lot of my creative juices get flowing and I do a lot of my projects. Um, I was thinking about creative process recently and um, my, um, my mindset of that and um, well, I'll start off with this little teaser. This, this is one of the things that got my creative processes going recently. This is an MSR, uh, I believe it's called a Pocket Rocket 2 stove, and it's a lightweight backpacking camping stove. Um, it just threads onto gas canisters and these little guys fold in to make it compact. Um, but this is a little bit of an older version, so uh, it doesn't have a lighter built into it. Um, and of course, you know, you can go out and just buy a, a stove that does have one, or you can bring um, a lighter along. I have bought one of these little, I, call, I think it's called a piezo. It's a sparker, non-battery powered, but it gives a little, you can't see it at all because it's too light, but it gives a little spark. Uh, but I noticed when it's windy out, it still is not um, the easiest to light. I did make slash build a little windshield for it, which helps, but uh, I wanted a built-in one. So um, that's where the creative process stuff started. And I was like, how could I do that? You know, barbecues have igniters built into them. You know, could I find one and adapt it? And then uh, I noticed one day that they're selling these super cheap backpacking stoves now on Amazon and other places. They're ridiculously cheap. They're like $10. So I was like, oh, um, I could just buy one of those. And I know most of you are thinking like, yeah, buy one of those to replace the pocket rocket. But no, that's not my process. My process is buy one of those uh, here and take it apart and use the igniter from this one, which again, you can't see it because it's too light, but it is throwing a spark and it's this little guy and mount it onto my pocket rocket because the pocket rocket is a superior stove in a lot of ways. It's the, um, the mounting for the, um, the pot surface is just more stable. Um, I don't know about weight, but it, no, no, I do just, even just picking it up, it's, it's significantly lighter. Um, you know, which for back actual backpacking matters for motorcycle camping, who cares? Um, even with that little igniter on it. So I will be deconstructing this stove, um, pulling this igniter off somehow. I haven't figured it out. This stove is not made to take apart like most modern things, but I already have it. Um, and I'll be adapting it to my MSR and um, I'll try to document that. But I think my plan is to, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little wavy washer on top there that holds a lot in place. So I'm just gonna saw this uh, or top piece off for starters. Um, it's it's ten dollars. I'm I'm willing to uh, get after it. Hey everybody! I just cut the top off my stove, my my ten dollar backpacking stove, and um, this is what was underneath. And I don't even know where the the top part is. It fell. I used a cutting disc and it made extremely short work of it. Um, so my thinking, yeah, is these, these are the feet. They're still a little hot. There we go. And uh, ear protection. And switch this guy on. It's more. And, ah, there we go. Okay, so that piece may have all been threaded together and I may have been able to avoid cutting completely. Um, 
because as I will show you in one second, you can see threads on there. So interesting. Um, I'm the guy like out there with the heat. Take it apart. And it's like, you know, like boop. And this gem is the piece de resistance. And I think what I'm gonna have to do, cause I don't think the MSR stove comes apart like that. Although I'm gonna do some research on it to see if it does. But my plan is to probably slot this so that hole is open so I can get it over. Maybe I'll cut it and fold one edge back and see if I can then fold it back. And I'm gonna do tiny little tack welds, I think, um, to get it situated. And yeah, then it's gonna be a uh, game on. Um, and as I always like to, to joke, it's like, it, you always have to, I mean, I'm having fun doing this. So uh, in a way it's all, it's all good no matter what. But if you do choose to put a value on your, on your time, um, this MSR pocket rocket I'm making quickly becomes the most expensive backpacking stove of all time. So here's the finished stove and I'm sort of disassembling it so you can see how I, I did it. Um, uh, some YouTube videos actually helped me figure out how to disassemble the MSR, but you basically just unscrew the top portion of the stove and it gives you access to the, the tripod legs uh, underneath that support your, your cooking surface. Um, and then there's just, it's just a threaded stud underneath there. So I was able to add the igniter over the threaded stud. Um, I did have to kind of cut it. I used some tin snips and trimmed parts of it and ended up having to trim the ring open completely um, to get it to position correctly. And I also had to bend the end of that electrode up top a little bit to get it to fit right. Um, so I'm putting the legs back on like you can see and that will hold the igniter, the piezo igniter in place. Um, and then you thread the, the top of the stove on and I had to bend the electrode a little bit out of the way. Um, there's enough wiggle room to get it on there and thread it down. And then um, th that little tripod piece that fits over the stove top um, I th is either for heat dissipation or, or uh, flame dissipation or something. But um, when you thread it down, it gets nice and secure on there. and. Um, and it, and it works great as you'll see in a, in a minute. Um, the, the, um, the spark was consistent, jumps right onto the um, surface where the gas comes out. So um, I'm looking forward to taking this out into the field as they say, but on, on some camping trips and seeing, um, seeing if it does the job. Um, so it was a really easy add. Um, it cost me um, about 10 bucks, maybe a little bit more for that other stove on Amazon, but that was a uh, uh, affordable price for me. So now I've got a, a built-in igniter. And here you can see me putting it to the test. First uh, light and it lights right up. I hope you guys like this video and like and subscribe for more of my content.